Hello everyone, just got our Raspberry Pi 2 and this is just a real quick demo to take it out for a spin. So here you go, here's uh, my Raspberry Pi 2 desktop and I'm remoting in via VNC and, uh, and uh, it's, let's just uh, open up the web browser to give a little quick demo. So here's the raspberrypi.org uh, website and I'm going to actually browse to uh, the, uh, uh, the the help directory and uh, in particular the documentation and you can see how quickly these are coming up this is actually a usable web browser now and I'm going to go look at remote access and VNC now if you've seen my uh, video on how to remote into Raspberry Pi via VNC uh, when I made that video these instructions uh, uh, didn't work for me, but I've noticed that they've uh, they've updated them. And uh, I actually just when I was setting up my uh, Raspberry Pi 2 here, I followed these instructions almost exactly and uh, got some really good results, uh, including uh, being able to set it up so that the VNC server starts when the Raspberry Pi boots. And uh, there's only one thing that I changed. Uh, in these instructions here and see this line right here uh, that's the setting I put into the uh, the boot file so uh, you see it take that line right there and then lower down on this page and you see it's, it's still a little bit wavy on me here I remember I am uh, accessing this through VNC and this is a uh, uh, full desktop now, or that little tiny desktop that you've seen me use before. Uh, yeah, so on this line right here, I just uh, that, that's where I insert that uh, those other settings here, and you see I have a, I have my full full desktop, uh, and uh, so that's 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 made me really happy. And uh, I've already started I've already installed Genie, and uh, that opens a lot quicker than it does with the uh, B plus that I was using, and. Uh, and there you go. So that's just such a real quick demo. Um, you can see that even though I'm accessing this thing through SSH, VNC, uh, it's still usable as as a web browser. And uh, I actually just sent a tweet from uh, from uh, from this browser. Uh, and uh, here, let me let me just uh, let me show you that. The only thing is, I, I noticed on that one though is uh, uh, Twitter. Um, Twitter well, uh, recognizes this as a mobile device, <laughs> so so it comes up as mobile.twitter.com, but, but yeah, there you go. So, so far I'm uh, real pr impressed with the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, uh, it seems like the per uh, performance is there where it's uh, it's actually kind of a, a usable uh, standalone computer um, and uh, not too bad for $35.